Well, good Monday morning, Central Texas. I'm First Alert 25 meteorologist Jordan Evans. Tracking your forecast as we look at future track, you can see some of that patchy drizzle and light rain will stick around for Central Texas throughout most of the morning as the front has just kind of fallen apart in the Brazos Valley. So we might actually keep the shower chances in play throughout most of the day farther to the southeast. Again, just very light rain. Most of it's going to be in the form of drizzle. We just don't have that much moisture above us, but here at the surface, that's pretty much all we can squeeze out. Now, as talk, we talk temperatures, it's back into the 60s pretty much throughout most of the day. We're not going to climb too high at all. It's up to 69 still at 2 o'clock, barely reaching 70 around 4 or 6 with maybe a few decreasing clouds for some of us, and then we'll hold on to those 60s throughout the rest of the night as well. So again, not much variation between those afternoon temperatures and those lows tomorrow morning. But farther to the southeast, maybe a little bit more sunshine early on, so that's where we could see highs getting up to the 80s, close to Austin and eventually the Brazos Valley. It's low 70s for Waco Temple Colleen and 60s farther to the northwest with lows tonight. Pretty much they're going to be the same as your afternoon highs. Again, not too much change. 66 for Waco Temple Colleen and maybe some low 70s as you go into the Brazos Valley. Across the state, you can kind of see where that cold front stalled out pretty much right through central Texas. So it's still 80s to the south, but behind it is 60s for Dallas and Abilene, 70s off to the northwest in the panhandle. But by tomorrow, everyone warms back up. We're in the mid 80s in Amarillo for Lubbock, central Texas, and a couple 90s still across the southern half of the state. Here's your 10-day forecast. 85 for Tuesday, 86 Wednesday, maybe a couple more sprinkles as well. Then it's 84 Thursday into Friday. That's when our next cold front comes through by the weekend. Looks like another dry front once again, so that'll keep the rain chances out and really just drop those temperatures and probably pick up some winds as well. And then next week, the forecast gets fun with some cooler weather.